I'm in Sweden on one of the archipelago islands called Uta, and it's breathtakingly beautiful. And I'm in search of some real traditional Swedish food. So I've called on the help of Emmy, Swedish food blogger. Uh, so today I'm going to teach Caroline how to cook Baltic herring with mashed potatoes and lingonberries, which in Swedish is called stekt strömming. I'm looking forward to it. Fish looks beautiful. Hej då! Hej då! Have we got everything we need? Yes, we do. Go join me. I think it's really, really important to use fresh, <laughs> local ingredients. Because then, you know, you don't even need to do too much else to it because it's so fresh, just keep it simple, it will taste delicious. I think as a chef, it's really important to, to travel because then it opens your horizons to new cultures, new flavors. For me, it's so, so exciting. All right, so what's the first ingredient? We do add in a lot of butter. I think the parsley is a really nice touch. And you say lots of butter? Yeah, <laughs> always. Like this, I like this, right. You know, one of the reasons I actually love cooking so much is because I like to cook for other people. And I think it's just something, you know, cooking for friends and family is something that I love, love to do. Right, last plate. Yeah. Score. 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 Hey! <laughs> <laughs>